Hey guys, today we're going to be reading Bonnie and Ben Rhyme Again. It's written by Mem Fox and illustrated by Judy Horacek. Sorry if I pronounce their names wrong. So let's get started. Bonnie and Ben were a boisterous pair who loved yelling rhymes in the open air. So they said their goodbyes with a kiss and a hug and went out for a walk with their friend Skinny Doug. Skinny Doug was the one who, time after time, had kept them entranced with rhyme after rhyme. So as they set off, he said, where will you start? You now know so many, you know them by heart. Soon, a small hill appeared up ahead. There was no hesitation, the two of them said. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. And Skinny Doug said, I love it, I love it, well done and hurrah. Can you tell me another, how clever you are? When a couple of sheep appeared up ahead, there was no hesitation, the two of them said. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home with bringing their tails behind them. And Skinny Doug said, I love it, I love it, well done and hurrah. Can you tell me another, how clever you are. When plums on a plum tree appeared up ahead, there was no hesitation, the two of them said. Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his pudding and pie. He stuck in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, what a good boy am I. And Skinny Doug said, I love it, I love it, well done and hurrah. Can you tell me another? How clever you are. When a hairy black spider appeared up ahead, there was no hesitation, the two of them said. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. And Skinny Doug said, I love it, I love it, well done and hurrah. Can you tell me another? How clever you are. When magnificent roses appeared up ahead, there was no hesitation, the two of them said. Ring a ring a rosy, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. And Skinny Doug said, I love it, I love it, well done and hurrah. Can you tell me another? How clever you are. When their very own house appeared up ahead, it was already late. There were stars overhead. So without hesitation, the two of them said, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. And Skinny Doug said, I love it, I love it, 
hip hip and hooray. What a beautiful rhyme for the end of the day. Goodbye and good night, dear Bonnie and Ben. We'll say some more rhymes when we all meet again. Not long after that, in their room down the hall, young Bonnie and Ben said, Nothing at all. And that's the end of Bonnie and Ben Rhyme Again. I hope you enjoyed this book. Please like it, subscribe, and I hope you have an amazing day.